In this video, we're going to be looking at the Adobe Photoshop CS6 Beta. So in this video, we're going to be going over a few improvements and a few new features of Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now right off the bat, you'll see that it's a dark interface. I personally like this. I think it causes less eye strain in low light environments. Now if you don't like this dark interface, which I guess is understandable, uh, what you can do is just go to edit and then preferences and interface. And you'll see here in the core theme, there's four different versions. There's the darkest theme that we have now. There's one that's a little bit lighter. There's one that's somewhat reminiscent of the CS5 and older. And then we have an even brighter version, which might be more suited for other people. As I said, I like the dark, so I'm sticking with that. Looking on file handling, we also get saving background. This is a new feature. Basically what you do is while you're saving your work, you can still continue to do that. And this great feature that I think is so simple, but I've been wanting it for years and I think other people have been wanting it too. Automatically save recovery information every so often. You set that to five minutes, that's the minimum. You can set it to an hour. What this basically does is it creates a backup image of the current document you're working on. It doesn't affect the original uh, document or PSD, which is a good thing. But yeah, this has been a few times where Photoshop's crashed on me and then, ah, just all that work gone to waste. So this is really good, really simple, but really good feature that I, I love it. Another thing about CS6 is the performance. It has a greater performance than past versions of Adobe Photoshop. I'll show that later, but I'm going to explain a little bit right now. Well, just over 4 gig of RAM assigned to Photoshop, and I'm running on an SSD. Like CS5 and CS4, I can't remember whether CS3 had it. I don't think so, but it has OpenGL graphics acceleration. When you click on the advanced settings, however, you also get a few other options new to CS6, like OpenCL. Those of you who use GPU accelerated programs for video encoding will know what OpenCL does. It basically allows GPU acceleration, but it's more powerful than OpenGL. Well, more powerful in my opinion. You get anti-alias guides and paths, and if you have a display, you can have a 30-bit display for higher color fidelity. Something that's new to Adobe Photoshop CS6 is um, something that's, I think has been around in GIMP Shop the free Adobe Photoshop clone. When you try to resize or create a square, following your mouse or cursor rather, it displays the height and width of um, the uh, box or shape, whatever you want to make at the time. Like I said, I think this has been in GIMP for a long time and a lot of other uh, graphic suites or photo editing suites. So I don't know why it's taken it this long for Adobe to finally put it in Photoshop. So yeah, that's cool, I guess. Another cool tool in Adobe Photoshop CS6 is the Content Aware Move tool. So basically what you can do here is just select a uh, piece of a picture. I mean this would probably work better for like trees or faces or whatnot, but I'm just working with this right now. Either way, select a piece of a picture that you want. Just click on the what usually is the Spot Healing Brush tool or Patch tool. But let's select Content Aware Move tool. Now what this does is you can move this portion of your image to another place on a uh, picture or photo and it'll basically remove it at the same time. Like if I move this part here, it'll chew through that and you can see that it's gone. It, it tries to replace what should be there using its surroundings like usual, I'm sure you know that, and tries to blend everything in. Another tool, a very cool tool to look at, is the uh, color replacement tool. Uh, remember years ago, or in previous versions, when you wanted to replace a color of something, a portion of a picture, you used to, to create layers and do all other stuff. That's no longer a thing you need to do. So again, where the uh, where the brush tool and pencil tool usually is, we get color replacement tool. So when we click on that, let's just zoom in a little bit. We uh, we can just select a color. I'll use a uh, red for now, and we can just directly uh, paint onto it. But you uh, can seamlessly replace the color. This effortlessly, it's brilliant. I can see this coming in for a lot of great things. Earlier, I mentioned how awesome the performance is in Adobe Photoshop CS6. So what we're going to do to demonstrate that is we're going to click on the filter, and then we'll click on liquify. 
Now what we're going to do first is just see with the brush size that we can go all the way to 15,000 pixels. But I'm just going to nudge this down for a, this demonstration. I'm using a 10 megapixel picture which is around 4,000 pixels. And we can see that just moving this liquify tool with the new CS6 performance. I think this is mostly thanks to OpenCL because I'm running it right now on my graphics card which is a HD 6770 and uh, you can see it's pretty fluid. I'm performing this very same action with the same picture in Adobe Photoshop CS5 you can see here that it's pretty laggy. I mean this tiling is just awful. Awful experience. In fact if you have CS5 when CS6 comes out you should upgrade. That's how much I'm loving this beta right now. It's awesome. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and looking at Adobe Photoshop CS6 Beta. If you want to try it out for yourself, it's free to download. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.